Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a Hiram's Boot CD that uh, boots off a USB key or USB stick. Uh, I've created another video with uh, the Hiram's Boot uh, CD creation on the CD, but I find it's much more efficient to use a USB key as uh, it's, you know, th there's no need to buy a CD to do it. Uh, and it can be erased and updated anytime you want as well as customized if you want to do that as well uh, but I'm not going into that on this video this is just on how to create the Hirons boot CD 15.2 uh, on a USB key you're going to need a USB stick that is, is at least one gigabyte in size or larger I'm just using a, a promotional USB stick somebody gave me that's one gig in size just to uh, demonstrate this so the first thing you need to do is go to Google, do a Google search for Hirons Boot CD Download, as I have done here, um, and then you'll see that you'll get this link, HironsBootCD.org and forward slash download. I'll put this link into the description as well. So I'm just going to click on that, and this will take you to the Hirons Boot CD first aid kit for your computer. Now, there's a lot of bogus links on this, like download here and start download over here these are all advertising links so don't click on those scroll down to about two-thirds of the way down and again here's another advertising link don't click on that and you'll see this little arrow going into a it looks like a, a hard drive enclosure and next to that you'll see the Hirons boot CD 15.2 zip okay click on that and uh, you'll notice that this is a, also a uh, uh, sorry, a zip file which is archived. So you're going to have to, uh, you know, extract the image file from that. But no problem, anyways. Um, just click on save here or save as and save it wherever you'd like to save it. I uh, realize that it's 502 megabytes, so it's going to take a little bit to download it. So I'm just going to click on save as. And I already created a, a Hirons CD image folder in my C drive. And as you can see, I've already downloaded the file, so I don't need to do that. But if you if you were doing it, you know, if you're at home, just click save, save the file, and then we'll go from there. Okay. All right, my download has completed, so we'll go to that uh, folder. So let's see a uh, mine and uh, hiring CD image, and you'll see that here's the zip file, and it says compress zip folder, but it actually is a, a file. Uh, so this is how Windows handles zip files. So double click it, and you'll see a bunch of files. But the real, the one that really counts is right here, and that is the image file. Okay. So what we're going to do is cl right click on that and uh, click open. Oh, sorry, click, uh, click on copy. All right. Then we're going to go uh, back one directory. So you can just hit the back button here, and in this directory here, hiring CD image where I was, I'm just going to go right click again and hit paste. And as you can see, it's extracting the file from the zip file. Uh, you need to do this because the uh, USB creation tool that I use called Yummy needs to have the image file, not the zip file. Okay, so I'll wait for this to finish here and uh, pick it up when it's done. Okay, next thing you need to do is download the USB uh, creation tool which is called Yummy. So just do a Google search for Y-U-M-I, -M -I, so Y-U-M-I, and then you'll get the Yummy Multiboot boot USB Creator. So click on that, and you get the, you know, the web page describing what it is, so on and so forth. Uh, what's important? Right here. Okay, so download Yummy. And it's yummy 2.0.0.8.exe for Windows. And then you want to save or save as. I'm going to choose save as so it goes in the same place. Uh, I put my hiring CD image right there. Save. Okay. Now Windows may see this as uh, you know a questionable file, whatever. We'll, well, you know, I'll show you how to deal with that if you have it. Okay, so now it's running the security scan. And it says yummy uh, 2.0.0.8 exe is not commonly downloaded, could harm your computer. Well, it won't. So just click on view downloads, and there it is. So don't worry about it. Just click the X here. 
actually just close this off it should be in my directory anyway so let's go take a look there it is so don't delete it don't do anything to it just close off your download window and move from there next double click the yummy and it says do you want to allow blah 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 yes and then click to agree on the licensing agreement and you'll see that it doesn't really install it just you know basically runs so you know you're ready to go with this now I guess I should have shown you the uh, drive I have which is right here my one gig uh, uh, USB stick uh, I would suggest that if you're running this just do a format on the uh, USB stick so that it's nice and clean when you start and you know I, I don't do the quick format I do the full format so I know that it's been erased but go ahead and do that on yours and realize that when you do this all the data on that stick will be erased so make sure that you back up the data from the stick prior to formatting or you will lose all your data so I've already done that you can do that and I'm just gonna hit close here and go back to the yummy program and as you can see the yummy program doesn't install it actually just runs and just uh, you know you can click on I'll show all drives if you want right uh, but I mean I'm just gonna you know you can just leave it off and it just goes looking for the USB stick so I'm gonna choose F which is my USB stick and then it says to select distribution and put on F right you know you can even here hit uh, format F drive here but I'd rather I like using Windows to do that so and then you'll see all your a list of all your distributions that you could actually use but let's scroll down to the bottom and near the live tools you'll see Hiram's boot CD okay so now it's actually you know on to step three which is pending browse for your Hiram's boot ISO so I'm just gonna click on browse and of course it's gonna be under my C drive on Hiram's CD image and there it is right there okay so we'll click on open on that and then click on create Yummy's ready to perform the following actions. Click create a sim, uh, sorry, create a sys Linux MBR on F. Existing MBR will be overwritten. A multi boot label, so on and so forth. Basically, it's going to make the disk, uh, the USB key bootable for you. So click yes. My uh, that was my firewall program asking whether it should be allowed to. Uh, access the internet say yeah don't worry about it okay and I'm doing this real time so you know how long it takes it's not very long actually now one of the things you're gonna need to know is how to boot your computer off a USB uh, stick normally you know it, it, most laptops nowadays and, and, and you know certain desktops are set up to do it automatically but if they're not, you're going to need to use the escape key, the F2 key, or the F10 key, or you know something to give you the boot options on the computer. I'll show you how to do that as well. Okay, and we're continuing on here. You know, this may actually occur faster on your computer or slower, depending on the speed of your stick, the speed of your USB port, and uh, the speed of your computer. By the way, using Yummy, uh, I've used other bootloaders and so on. I find Yummy is one that works on most computers. Uh, it seems to be more reliable in, in, in its boot detection. I've got a gateway desktop that's a real, real bear to boot from USB, but it seems to boot using Yummy every time. So I suggest that you use the Yummy program to set up the uh, USB key. Okay, so it says all finished, process is complete. Click next. Uh, would you like to add more ISOs or distros on F? This is another nice option that if you want to add other data to this disk or to this USB key, you can. Okay, this, I'm not going into that on this. I'm just going to sit no on this. And Yummy says it's completed the installation, so we're just going to cl click close on that. And now you look at your multi boot CD and you'll see that you have multi boot and HBCD. So at this point, you're ready to shut down and reboot and test them whether you can boot on this or not. 
Okay, so I'll show you that next. Okay, here we are on my boot screen for my HP. Uh, mine's a laptop. It, you know, it depends on what, depending on what kind of computer you have, your startup screen obviously is going to be different. I already have my USB key inserted into the USB port. Uh, but, you know, on my laptop, if you have a computer, just plug your USB uh, uh, key into whatever port you wish. Uh, now here you see at the bottom it says press escape key for startup menu. On HP's that's what you get, on this HP anyway. Uh, on different computers you're going to have different instructions at the bottom. Usually you have a, uh, you know, a second or two to read what they say. So uh, on this computer it's escape for the startup menu. Others it'll be F1, F2, F4, F10, F12, or Control C or Control X, you name it. Uh, usually, like I said, the usual instructions are there at the bottom. So I'm going to hit escape here. And then you'll get boot device options. Uh, you have a bunch of other options, but the only one that matters is the, on this one anyway, is the boot device uh, options. Whatever menu gets you into your boot uh, priority or sequence, uh, that's what you want to go into. So I'm just going to hit F9 here. And as you see, I have internal CD-ROM as an option, notebook hard drive, and the generic flash disk, which is what uh, my USB key is. So I'm going to choose that. And you can see Yummy here, multi-boot USB comes up, right? Perfect. And you have two options on, on my disk, on my uh, key anyways. Uh, continue to boot from the first HD or hard drive, which is the default, or uh, other OS and tools. So I'm going to go to other OS and tools. And then you get the Hirens Boot CD option there. So just scroll down to it and then hit enter. And there you are. You're into Hirens Boot CD from your uh, USB key. You know, have all your options here. Choose what you wish. Uh, you can test your memory. You name it. Uh, this is not a tutorial on how to use Hirens Boot. It's only on how to, you know, actually install it onto uh, USB key and boot from it. So at this point, we are, uh, you know, finished at uh, installing and making it work. So hopefully this per this uh, video is helpful to you. Uh, if you don't have a USB key, I do have this video um, on, on uh, uh, making it the disc on an actual CD itself. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.